What's up, party animals? My name is Kezi. Do you want to make your significant other breakfast in bed? Do you not have a significant other and just want to make breakfast instead? Well, how about making coyote's egg thing? Um, I don't know the real name for it. There's probably a actual name, but it is, uh, all sorts of ingredients. Um, the base things are eggs and potatoes. Everything else, like the thing I'm making is just kind of like one way of doing it. You can basically add anything. I have added, um, like there was this one time where I added three different kinds of meat and like a ton of vegetables. Um, I once added salad to it. That was a bad idea. Don't do that. But you can do anything. It's such a versatile meal and it's so easy to make. It just kind of takes a while because cooking potatoes is slow. All right, so the ingredients we're making egg thing with. Potatoes, these are gonna be fun. A really long pepper. Bacon. Mushrooms. Tofu. Onion. Pico de gallo. Garlic, minced garlic actually. And vegetables. All right, so the first step is gonna be to wash and shred the potatoes. Now, I have a magical instrument for that. Now, this might strike fear into the hearts of some of you, but I have a cheese grater. This is good for shredding more than just cheese. I can shred anything that's solid, and it's perfect for making hash browns. And that's what we're turning these raw potatoes into. All right, and so the next step is to get some oil in a pan, heat it up, and then we're putting the potatoes in. Those go in first because they take really long to cook. So first, we're gonna get this pepper, and we're gonna get all nice and chopped up. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna have some bowls out for some of the things. Hell, is there another pepper in here? Look at this bitch! It's like a little pepper inside the big pepper. I don't know if I should use that. Ooh, I hear that this is ready. All right, I'm gonna get this started. I'm gonna get nice and soaked with the oil. Ancho Honey Citrus Spice. I get it from Walmart. It's for like grilling, but I don't give a shit. Then we'll add the little bits of garlic. And a couple of healthy spoonfuls of it. Ooh, that's garlicky. I can smell that through my first. Mix it up nice and good. One step I missed. So, addition to the uh, potatoes. This also takes a while to cook. So, full of water, so we're going to get a little knife. Place it open. Get the water drain out of it. Put the rest of the way. Alright, this is the fun part. So you take this block, and you just Squeeze the frick out of it. Get it all nice and mushed up. Wash your hands, now they're gross. 
mix this into. Then I'll just let that sit while we wait for the other things to get ready. This is an absolute unit, what the hell. Should I use all of it? Maybe? Don't play most of it? Okay, if you're using most of it then. No, those are pretty big chunks, so... Chopped up red pepper, the red bell pepper. I don't know if red pepper is a different thing. Now, get this and scissors. Fill the bowl up with it. Freezer. Ow. Get myself in the face. And then it says cook it for a while, but I just need to de thaw it because it's going right into the hot pan. But I want to chop it up first. So we'll just put it in for 30 seconds and call that a day. In the meantime, Unwrap these mushrooms and get these nice and chopped up as well. No! And we'll just put all this into that bowl again as well. The onion, probably want a bit of that in there as it's cooking. What the fuck? Okay. Alright, now we wait for a bit. So I have this bunch of frozen bacon, and I've had it out for a little while just so it can thaw enough to actually like cook proper, or so I can like slice it up and stuff. So, work on this, and this is going in the pot next. This bacon takes a minute to cook because it needs to be healthy, well at a healthy temperature. Although sometimes something I've thought about before is the idea of like bacon sushi. I feel like that would be amazing if it wasn't for the fact that it would probably kill you. And if you've noticed, I'm making I'm cutting the bacon last. You always don't want to mix different um, like raw meat and then vegetables. Even if it's all getting cooked together, you want to be super careful of that. Because if you're not cooking the vegetables for the same amount of time as the meat, or if you're cooking it differently, or there's like, there's a million ways this can go wrong. So it's best to just wait and do this last. Or, if you do it too early, uh, clean. Give it a good clean before you actually do the slicing. Alright, we've been cooking for a minute. We'll go ahead and add the bacon into the mix. Mix it up nicely. Then we'll add these frozen vegetables because they're still quite cold.
And now we wait. Even more. Okay. Alright, so I've been waiting on the food because it takes a while to cook. But in the meantime, I made a fat beat. So we'll go ahead and give it a listen. So this is what I started with. But, yeah, I made a beat. So let's go back to the kitchen. We are almost done. Hello, we'll start recording you. Audio sync. All right. So I can't remember what I've done, but really kind of what happens is that you take, you basically just cook this forever. It takes a long time. I don't know how much time has actually passed because I'm not paying attention. Um, but like as things start turning brown, you just start adding the different ingredients. So I've already added the vegetables, the mushrooms, the peppers, and then some of the pico de gallo. Um, most of this should be almost ready to be done. So if you want to take a peek at that, let me know if you think that looks good. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. So what we're going to add now is a lot of eggs. Now you could just call this done, but it wouldn't be called egg thing otherwise. So what I like to do is when I go to the store, let's see if you can get this shot of just absolutely unit of an egg cart. I like to get as many eggs as possible. So you can buy like 50 of them for five bucks. And so we're just going to add five eggs to this thing. And then bone out the teeth. And you always want to add the eggs last because they cook at sonic speed. All right, so that's it. That's how you make egg thing. Um, I don't, what's it actually called? Breakfast bowl. People call it a breakfast bowl. I call it an egg thing. Either way, you can eat it any time of the day. You can eat it, it's so good. I love it. It's just, it's easy to make. Okay, that probably didn't seem easy, but it's, it's difficult to screw up. That's the good thing. That's, that's what makes it easy. Um, so yeah, uh, enjoy the meal if you decided to follow along. Uh, well, if you decided to make it, I hope you enjoyed it. Otherwise, if you didn't, I hope you enjoyed the video. And of course, until next time, thanks so much. Oh wait, I should tell you guys to subscribe because you should do that if you haven't. Um, so yeah, subscribe, like the video, leave a comment if you made it, send me pictures, send me anything. I have a Discord server, I have like all sorts of other things, links in the description, as well as in the next, uh, the end card. So, until next time, thanks so much for watching, bye bye!